Risky Behavior. Hey, how y'all doing? Welcome to Risky Behavior. I am your host, Schmelly, and this is another Kendra G Singles Live Reaction. And for um, today's video, I guess the question or the thought would be is, is everyone still out here smashing their ex? It sure seems like they are. They're trying to get on to the next one, but they're still messing with the last one. They say they want love. They want marriage. They want a family. And they have yet to sever ties with their past and move on. Right. And for those of you who are out there dating, I can understand you being paranoid because it feels like there's always this ex lover lurking around the corner at the front door, at the back door. Hiding in the closet, hiding under the bed, just waiting for their opportunity, you know, and it's just ridiculous. This video we're about to watch, um, when the when the young lady first came on, I mean, she seems nice, she seems sweet and stuff, but it's just red flag after red flag after red flag, and I don't want to be too long with it. Let me go ahead and just play this video. Oh, my God. Are you are you driving? Oh, um, I actually just parked at the um, at the grocery store. I'm in, I just pulled up to the grocery store. Uh, <laughs> you, okay, we can't talk to you while you're driving. Are you ready? Oh, I'm not. I'm not driving. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, what's your okay. keep the keep the camera. Don't have your head cut okay. off. What's the name, baby? Um, Crystal. Crystal, where are you calling us from? Where you live? Uh, I live in Houston. Houston. We're coming to Dallas soon. How old are you, Crystal? I'm 30, 33. 33. What's your zodiac sign? I'm a Virgo. Virgo. 33 Virgo. Uh, what do you do for a living? Uh, I'm, a, I'm a quality specialist. I work at a biotech company. Quality specialist? Mm -hmm. Crystal Houston, 33 Virgo, quality specialist. Do you have any kids? Yes. yes, I have two kids. How old are your two kids? Uh, 15 and 9. Okay. What about the same man? No. No. Have you ever been married? No. Okay. So All right. So we got a bit of an alert, 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 red flag. Um, two children by two different men, not married now that doesn't mean necessarily a bad thing but that is something that a a person would have to think about when stepping into this situation um you have two children by two different men if those fathers are present and in their lives that's two other people that you have to deal with in that relationship when you're um starting a life with this person also um if the fathers are not involved um, those are two kids with two different fathers, um, with potentially two different voids in their life that you're going to have to step in as a man, because a woman with children is a package deal. If you're going to love her, you got to love the kids. So not necessarily a bad red flag, but it is an alert to potential responsibilities that you have to wonder, do you want to take on that responsibility for a nine-year-old and a 15-year-old? You know what I mean? So Houston, 33 Virgo, quality specialist, mom to two, by two men, never married. What kind of man you looking for, Crystal? Um. Um, I'm looking for somebody that's genuine. I want a man that know how to cook. Um, I want a man that is gonna accept me and my children. I don't want to hear like, cause I, I'm used to dating like African men, and sometimes they be like, "Oh, I'm just gonna tell people you got one kid or something like that." I need somebody that's gonna accept both of my kids, that's gonna accept me. Um. I just want somebody that's, I just want somebody that's just a good person all in general that's, that goes to church. Um, I just want to, 
I just want a good man that's gonna make me happy. Okay. So you mentioned you want the man to know how to cook. Um, so I'm gonna say I want that too. So do you want him to be the sole cook, or would you cook, or how does that work? I'm gonna cook, but I just want, I need somebody that's gonna cook as well because um, I don't want a man that's gonna be that's always. Oh, I haven't, cause I'm, cause I've been the guys I've been dating. They've been like, I haven't ate, so what you gonna cook? Like sometimes I come home after a long day of work, and then they be like, oh, they be there, and then they like, I haven't ate nothing, and I'm like, can you cook something for yourself? Cause I'm tired. I already ate. So I got you. Let me ask you this: Do you expect the man to pay all the bills of the house? No, no, no. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Because I think I think sometimes, and we are living in a different time where. Back in the day, the men paid all the bills, right? So it was expected of women to cook all the time because that was basically your job. You could. Exactly. Now we have women who also work, and you're saying you work and you will also contribute to the bills. So yeah. you would need a man. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. So at least, at least you also understand that she's going to contribute. That's why she cannot cook all the time. What are some deal breakers? Um, I don't like a guy who smokes it. Weed is okay, but cigarettes, uh-uh, I can't. Okay. Uh, no more than, I got two baby dads, so no more baby mamas. <laughs> do you want more kids? I do, yeah, I do. Okay, but he can have kids just two, no more than two baby mamas. Yeah, no more, more than two baby mamas, no more than three kids. Cause, okay. Yeah, no more. Um, uh, hygiene, I'm big on hygiene. I don't, I like a guy to smell good. If they don't smell good, I, I, I can't. Um, and that's about it. Okay. And um, should he look a certain way? Um, I like dark skin men. I'm not really into bright skin guys. I just it's just not my thing. I like dark skin and it has to be maybe like above five eight, five nine, because I'm five six. So I would prefer somebody a little bit taller than me. Okay, a little bit taller than. You. Um, should he make a certain amount of money? Um, maybe like seventy thousand and up. Okay, seventy k up. Should he be in Houston? Mm -hmm. If he's willing to, he have to be in Houston now. But if he's willing to relocate, I don't think I, I don't want to relocate. So let's do the kids or cam. That's when you stand up and we see your full body. Oh. Okay. Okay, let me see these pants. I gotta see your pants. Oh, you got on shorts. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> I'm shaking that booty child. Uh, Crystal, when was the last relationship? Um, it's been about like, um, like January, well, May. May. Okay, May. Three flaws. No, so before I, I keep on forgetting this question, I forgot. I skipped it on Facebook. You don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Last night. Who you sleep with last night, Crystal? The guy that I was dating. Uh, I mean, the guy from that I was. Then why are you calling me? Why can't y'all just be together? Cause he crazy. Then why are you having sex with him if he crazy? Because. Cause like Houston is too many everybody like it's too many people sleep I don't like to sleep around like that so I'm just dealing with him until I find somebody I mean not find somebody else but I don't want to sleep with I think sometimes you know what I say this every video I appreciate a person's honesty, but it's kind of like have the class to not answer that question. But I appreciate the honesty. And what's up with this same excuse all the time of, um, well, you know, I, I don't want to rack up my bodies what's wrong with just not having sex and then you sit here and you say that this person is crazy right 
And so let's just say she does get a date and you're out on a date with her and you're in this city. You're out on a date and you bump into this crazy ex. When I was younger, they had a young boy and he was in the car with a girl. And the girl was just his friend. They were platonic friends. Wasn't dating or anything like that. This ex dude that she was messing with. That was crazy. Sees them two together. Goes into a jealous rage. Shoots into the car. He's no longer with us. And so you could possibly be on a date with somebody and they could have just last night, last week, been with this person. And you don't know what's in that other person's brain. They might think, well, I was just sleeping with her last night. I was just sleeping with her last week. You know, we still messing around. See her out with you and think she trying to play me. And so while you're sitting here acting like there's some rational thought going on in your brain by saying, well, I'm, you know, I'm still sleeping with him because I don't want to rack up my bodies. Well, you know, you don't have to rack up your bodies. You could just not sleep with anybody. You could say, well, hey, you know, I want to get out here and meet the the person that I'm going to be with for the rest of my life. So let me go ahead and just get into that mode. I'm not going to sleep with nobody. I'm saving myself for the next person that deserves me, that deserves my body, that deserves my time, that deserves my effort, that I'm going to invest into them and they're going to invest into me. What's wrong with doing that? Because you're trying to pretend as if you're staying safe by not racking up your bodies. But you're not really being safe, are you? You out here playing silly little games with crazy people. You said he's crazy. You out here playing games with crazy people. You just with this brother um, last night. And now you're on the Internet throwing dirt on his name saying he's crazy. And looking for another man. Is he crazy? Or are you crazy? He not on the internet doing this. You are. And you trying to invite somebody else into this situation that you going on. You know what I'm saying? And now I see now why a lot of these guys sit here and say, well, hey, I don't want to date no woman with um with children because it can point to signs that she's not very good at making decisions and She's perfect proof of that. You got two kids by two different guys. You're not with neither one of them. You've been dating men that you allow to disrespect you and say, hey, I'm just going to lie and say you got one kid. So you dating men that are embarrassed of you. You don't see nothing wrong with that. And you was just last night with somebody that is crazy and you get on the internet and you think that's cool to do you think that's cool to say what decent guy is going to say yep i want to sign up for that she just had a dude bust off inside her last night who that's wifey right there. <laughs> I'll take her home to meet my mama. Oh, I can't wait to introduce her to my friends. Classy lady. This, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. <laughs> you can't make it up. You can't make it up. Because I've heard like, oh, yeah, six days ago. She's on here 
today and it says last night. Oh my gosh. I hope that she's just doing this for attention. Maybe she wants the guy she was with last night to get his act together. So hopefully she's just coming on here to make him jealous. Maybe, maybe that's the game they play. They make each other jealous and then they get together and have makeup sex or something like that. I don't know. But look, last night she was with him. She woke up, (sighs) yawned, brushed her teeth, left the house. And went to the grocery store and she's trying to find a new man. That don't look good at all. Is, why you keep sleeping with him, you might not find nobody else because you, you have filled up the space for somebody else to occupy it. Yeah, but it's I, I already know what it is. I can't be with the person and Mm-mm. I understand that, but I want you to get this. While you are still having sex with your ex, it's going to be hard for you to attract the type of man that you say you want because you're still entertaining energy that you don't want. And I think this this is where it gets... Listen, ladies, first of all, I want to say I'm sympathetic. I do want to say I'm sympathetic. But if y'all really want a certain type of guy, you're going to have to learn sexual discipline. It's It's going to be very important. My bad, I didn't mean to pause it. (laughs) Because as long as you keep opening up your legs to the men who you know you cannot build a future with, you are going to stop and it's a law of attraction. That man that you can build a future with is not going to come into your area. You want to attract him. I know. I I know. I already know all these things. Then why are you still why, then why are you? I'm, and it's not like it's not like a consistent thing. It's just like I mean I haven't seen him since like May, so it's just. Kind and, of like, uh, and let me say this. Let me say y'all this. This is I hate stuff like this. And I saw women this advice before. This is your ex boyfriend, right? If you know you ain't ready to leave your ex yet, don't even break up the relationship. Cause they, you know you don't ever want your ex to know that you really don't got no other option besides him. So you broke up with him in May, and now you gave him some last night. So all you taught him was, she don't really got nobody else. So now he got the best of both worlds. Now, I don't know why you broke up with him, but you broke up with him for a reason, right? So whatever that reason is, now he's technically single. So now he learns that he can have this single life and sleep with any other woman, and then still sleep with you at times when he wants to or when you want him. So it's like you just gave him a win-win. You don't oh. ever want your ex to know you ain't got no other option. I mean, he, if knows, you feel, he knows I got options. I just, well, if you got options, why are you still having sex with him? Because I don't want to sleep with nobody. Then you I don't, don't have wanna... no other options. You got to understand how men, y'all got to start understanding how men look at shit. And yeah, maybe take you out on a date, but he probably know you a good woman like you told us. You don't want to sleep with everybody. So you already slept with him, so you're going back to him. So what you're telling him is, he still got a hold of you, and he's not even your boyfriend. Was he ever your boyfriend? Be honest. Yeah. Why did you, did you break up with him? Uh, we just argued a lot and had um, a lot of disagreements. Like, if I say love, he say right. It was just like a lot of arguing over nothing. So I couldn't. Look, the men are getting mad at me because I'm putting the women on the game. But no, women, y'all need to understand this game. So now what you taught him, for whatever reason, you broke up with him. So now he's technically free. But because I haven't learned sexual discipline, he knows, men know, women get that. Women have sexual desires, too. So it's been three months. You had that itch. You made whatever the case may be. Y'all laid back up. So now he's like, I got her. No. What's the point? He's no. the, what do you mean, no, he slept with you last night, but he got you, whether you want to admit it or not? Yeah, he slept with me, and then I went about my way. I didn't stay the night and nothing. I got what I wanted and left, and then love. So you don't understand. You see, she thinks she in power. She thinks she the player. She thinks she the man. Oh, no, I got him. 
No, he got you. You the one online trying to find somebody new. It ain't him. It's you. That would be true if you slept with him, went on about your business, and you never came on the show. He got you. You saying you broke up with him. And then you ran right back. And see, this is the um, delusion some of these women be in. They think that they, at some point, they think that they take the role of the man. And they don't. She thinks that she can just go smash him and, and we're going to look at her like, yeah, she a player and she had him. and uh, Nah, that ain't how that go. That ain't how that work. <laughs> that ain't how nobody looking at it. You on here trying to find somebody new that you just slept with this dude. And you know what? Here's another thing I thought about. A lot of times when people be in relationships and then like they'll break up with somebody. They tend to think that, you know, like I ain't breaking up with this person because there's something wrong with them. They're crazy. And I just don't want to be with them no more. It's something wrong with them. But what this shows is that she should probably go back to that guy because it's probably nothing necessarily wrong with him. It's the fact that she just thinks that she's too good for him. But if you're willing to sleep with someone and then wake up the very next day and get on a dating show and then tell us all about how you slept with that person, it it actually points to your character. And so while you think your character is so much better than his and that he's the crazy one, you might want to look in the mirror and realize that you're a little crazy too. And you and him might just be a perfect match. And so you really don't need to find nobody new. Just be with the person you've been with. He crazy, you crazy. You have to be. You would have to be. What's so wrong with him that makes it that there's nothing wrong with you? Think about it. Don't act like you're just this sweet, innocent, perfect person with with no flaws. You're a red flag. He's willing to be with you. You should just go be with him. Because he's not the only crazy person in that relationship. If he is crazy. And that's not even a um that's not even a real answer. It makes me think that maybe she was the one in the relationship messing up because people love to break up with people and they don't want to take no accountability and they just want to call the other person crazy and that person is never around to defend themselves or to speak for themselves. And so they just run on with the narrative that my ex is crazy. What you do? Oh, I, I didn't do anything. They're crazy. This is to his advantage and not yours? I mean, he's been reaching out the whole time and I and I ain't and I haven't went back. It's I do what I wanna do, it's when I wanna do it. But I know a lot of women really feel this way. Like you're speaking for a lot of women right now, but you have I think what women are missing is you're not right. Like, you see, I see what you're saying, but no, you're not winning by saying, I get it when I get it. You don't want him. You want something long term. You just said you want a person that's going to accept you and your children. You want to build a life with somebody. And by thinking that you got this power over your ex and y'all just have sex when you feel like it, what you're failing to realize is you're blocking the real man that you desire because the real man that you desire ain't going to go for this shit. And the real man that you're desired that's watching this is putting you in a category of, okay, she wanted it. Like, let's say we get into an argument, now she want to go back to her ex. Like, I don't, so I think women got to learn this. Like, if you have an ex and you break up with him, I don't care if it's a year later, all you're teaching him is you don't really have another option. But we're going to to keep going i want you to get that though i want you to get that that part i want all women to get that and here's the deal ladies start being look start i know we be emotional 
But sometimes you got to be logical. If you know in your heart of hearts that you in a situation that you ain't ready, like in two weeks you're going to go right back to it, figure it out before you break up with him. Because you don't ever want a man to think that you just going to tolerate anything. I'd rather him think you just stupid and don't know what's going on than to think that you ain't got no other option and he your only option. Now he's really going to treat you bad. But that's another conversation. What are the laws you have to work on? Um, three flaws I have to work on. Um, I think I need to work on like my attitude a little bit. Like sometimes if I'm frustrated, I can just, I'm very blunt. Let me just say that. I just go straight to the point. I don't like to beat around the bush. I can probably work on that. Like how I say, not what I say, how I say it. Um, I can work on. And that's something else I can work on. Um, maybe my communication. I can communicate a little bit better. I do. I feel like I went hard. But I want to say this. I went hard because I'm talking to you. But really, what you're doing. Okay, I'm done. I'm done with her. Everything I just said was true. She sat there and said that he was crazy. Right? But then she just admitted that one of her flaws is that she needs to work on her attitude and, and her communication. But she just said that he, if she say right, he say left. She say up, he say down. I'm telling you, they were both the same person in that relationship. And there's nothing really wrong with him necessarily it's just that he's probably the same at her you know what i'm saying he's the same as her and it just made him bump heads and with some therapy or some counseling or talking to somebody they could just go talk to a, a pastor at a church or something and sit down and talk and probably work it out but to be sitting here breaking up with him still sleeping with him and then coming on the internet trying to bring new people into that situation is just not right and it's unfair to the people that may date her you know, she I'm I'm done with her. I'm look, I'm done. That that's basically the end of the video and stuff like that. Kendra gonna say some um nice things to her, but as I always say, a lot of people that are out here dating um should not be dating and it's unfair to the people that are really out there and ready to date. And this is why people say the dating pool got piss and boo boo in it is because of this it's because of this anyway man hey i want to say shout out to all the subscribers those that like share um the video i appreciate you all from the bottom of my heart make sure you jump down in that um comment section let me know what you think risky out risky behavior